Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Cast. My name is Seishu, and I'm here with Chris Scott, who's the founder of Preveal, now the owner of Sales Off Salesographer, and also Swift Galleries, which we're going to talk about today. Thanks for joining me, Chris. How are you? I'm good, man. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. And if you call me Scott at any point during this, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I, I might, blame my parents. I might, it's not I a big deal. I have to do that. Uh, awesome. flipping, flipping names here. Uh, listen, uh, this this new thing that you've come up with, man, is blowing my mind. Okay, <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, you know, it really is. And I've been promoting it only because I feel like uh, it's gonna it's gonna change lots of people's lives, lots of photographers' lives. Okay, yeah. it's gonna make things better. Uh, it's gonna make it easier for people to to really help their their clients, uh, whether it's face to face or remotely, whatever, however you want to put it. It's gonna it's that's what's gonna really yeah. gonna do. But the one question I have, I guess, for you is what do you, from your perspective, what are, what are, what are the benefits of using Swift Galleries uh, for a portrait photographer? Yeah, yeah. So let me, uh, let me maybe lay down a little bit of groundwork sure. first and yeah. kind of talk about, because yeah, <laughs> I made this mistake when we first announced Swift Galleries. I was like, it's from the makers of Preveal, and it, it's really just uh, kind of founder's hubris on my point, I think, because on my part, I think, because some people are like, what's Preveal? And I'm like, what do you mean you don't? <laughs> okay, fine. So, um, you know, so the premise here, and, and I'll give a little bit of backstory, and then, and then we'll launch straight into all of this, all the fun stuff. But uh, a handful of years ago, when we were living in Nashville, Adrian and I were running a um, a photography networking group in Nashville. And we focused almost primarily on the business side of things because there were plenty of other groups that were doing great things on, on the shooting side. But we wanted to focus on, okay, how can we help people build a better business? And we, and we had so many people in that group who were either newer photographers or just uh, you know, didn't have big uh, fancy projection sales spaces, you know, all that stuff. They were meeting people in coffee shops and, and whatnot. And they were producing fantastic work but they didn't have the means to sell that work in a meaningful way. And right. I think that this is still true. In fact, probably even more true today than it was at that point, that there are, there are tons of photographers out there producing fantastic work and then not really following through with their clients in providing a service to help them figure out what to do with those images. They're, they're just giving discs. They're uh, you know, sending them online or whatever. Um, and, and not making as much money as they could and really not serving their clients in the way that they really could. Right. So we had this idea that was like, oh, we'll just build this iPad app thing, you know, where people can, can show their clients what their images will look like on their walls uh, at the right size, all from their iPad. So now if they're in a coffee shop, they can do that and they don't have to have, you know, projection equipment and, right. and all of that. Um, and, you know, and we were like, oh, we'll just make money while we sleep or, you know, and, and it turns out now we just don't sleep. <laughs> anymore instead so uh so fast forward a handful of years the thing's built it's uh it's going really well um there are thousands uh, almost five thousand photographers around the world who use this thing now preview um and and many of them are doing very very well with it it's it's been humbling for us to see just what this thing has done for people uh you know the, we get emails that are that say i i wasn't I was selling $150 tops. That includes the session fee um, when I was just selling online. And now I'm doing this and you know, I'm averaging $1,500 or $1,200 or $2,000 a session. And there's a lot to that that, has, that, that makes it sound like – and I, I, I feel like I do need to caveat this. It makes it sound like I'm saying buy Preveal. Now you're going to sell $2,000 worth of stuff no, I because don't. I made a fancy app. And that's really not it. Preveal is the means – to help photographers serve their clients better. The reason that those, those photographers are making more money is because they're serving their clients better now. They just right. happen to use this tool right. to, to give them an excuse to do that. Right. Uh, and by serve their clients, I mean uh, help them actually figure out what to do with all these images that we're creating for them. So uh, there, there became this groundswell of uh, Android users who were saying, what about us? You know, I kind of pitch forks and torches and stuff, and uh, <laughs> kind of. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. And uh, you know, what about us? And yeah, so we looked. We looked pretty hard at, at you know, do we just build an Android version of this, and then you know, maybe it, at some some point Windows would start picking up the pace 
and then we'd have to go build a Windows version of this thing too. And we just felt like, you know what? Let's let's skip all of that. So we took the idea of Preveal, this show your clients their images on their walls at the right size. We threw it on the web. Um, so it works across devices, Android, iOS. It works across, um, well, sorry, operating systems, Android, iOS, Windows, um, and devices. So laptops, desktops, phones, tablets, all of that fun stuff. We just kind of negate that entire argument altogether now. It works. If it's connected to the Internet and it has a screen, it basically works. Um, oh, okay. And then, and then it gave us, uh, that kind of gave us some more room to, to kind of dream and say, well, what, can, what else can we do to make this thing better? So um, we built it so that you kind of share the load. So, you know, so, uh, two of the biggest things we got were, hey, I really want this for Android or I really want this on my laptop. And um, I don't do in-person sales, but I would still like to be able to do something like this. I would still like to be able to sell wall art. So we kind of came at it from that direction of how can we solve those two big things? Because I think that, that that helps us help a lot more photographers. Because right now we're like, in-person sales with an iPad, we got you. You're good to go. Uh, but how do we do this for people who are, who are outside of the in-person sales world and, and on other devices? So, so we built this thing. And then we were like, you know, I think we can still do some cooler stuff with that. So we're like, uh, let's take their their the photographer's full res images and go ahead and, and just design the stuff with that. Now that we have these full res images, we can just place their orders for them as well. Oh wow. And yeah. and really quickly moved from this tool that I think makes it really easy to show a client what it looks like um, into a tool that really just takes over the process for you. So all of that kind of backstory to lead up to, this is what Swift Galleries is. It's a, it's a web-based tool for a professional photographer to get in, upload their clients' images for them, pre-design some galleries for them. So basically you're saying, hey, these are the ones that I suggest you do something with. And I think that these images look great together. Mm -hmm. um, and then sending it over to the client. So basically you just, once you've pre-designed some stuff and saved it, you drop their email address in and we send them an email that says, hey, you've got some galleries to look at. The client then gets in there. They can make any changes they want using the images that you've uploaded. They can choose different sizes. They can choose different layouts. They can even upload their own room photos and calibrate them so that they can see everything on their own walls uh, and know that everything looks great. It's, mm -hmm. take, it's basically taking all of that stuff, throwing it into the client's hands because we all know that some of, there are a handful of clients out there who they might love exactly what you've designed, but they have to change something just on principle. No, no, I think, it's, you know, so this is kind of that, oh, you want to do a little DIY? That's great. But it, we also have that kind of that, that piece built in that, that allows you to make those suggestions. And if they're not that kind of person, they can just say, I love that. Right. They, they hit the place the order button. They pay for it right there. The photographer sets all their own prices. So we just send your profit straight to you. Mm -hmm. We take that order. We send it over to ProDPI, who prints it and ships it straight to the client. So from a photographer's perspective, really the only thing they have to do is upload those images pre-design a couple of galleries and share it and uh, doing some demo videos to show this. Uh, the last one that I did, I, I only did one gallery, but it was a custom gallery. It's about $1,300 worth of, worth of wall art. Right. It took me a minute and 25 seconds to upload the images, design the gallery and share it with the client. And that's, uh, that's mind boggling. Like I had no idea, you know, it, when we were building this thing, I was like, I really, from a marketing perspective, I, I really want to be able to pitch this as like the 15 minute sales process, right. a minute and 25 <laughs> seconds. It's insane. What, what, uh, will this, will this, do you feel replace the in-person sales at all? I don't think so. I think that there's going to be, uh, it's something we've been talking about a lot. Cause like, did we just kill our baby? You know, cause like we've had Preveal for a while. Did we just kill our baby? I don't think we did. Um, I think that there's always going to be a place for Preveal. Preveal is great for that in-person, hands-on experience. Um, there are some things, at least right now, that, that um, Swift Galleries will not do. Um, and that's stuff like uh, we, don't have, we don't have support for framed stuff yet. Mm -hmm. uh, it's planned, but it's just not in there yet. It won't be in there when we launch. Um, and, you know, right now, uh, you have to fulfill through ProDPI. If you want to fulfill through somebody else, Preveal may be a really good fit for you. Um, so there are a handful of things. I actually, if you go to swiftgalleries.us.us, 
um, there is a blog post specifically about that. How are these two things different right. and which one is better for me kind of uh, conversation. So um, I, I, that's, a, that's a really good kind of post to check out if, if you're kind of like, well, which one should I get? Right. Um, I think that I think they're going to fit two different markets. Uh, really, when you boil it down, I think Prevail is going to be for the in-person uh, salesperson, and Swift Galleries is going to be for the online salesperson. Oh, excellent, excellent. So I love the idea that you have these choices now. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, clearly, clearly, giving, giving you, you the opportunity, opportunity for the, the, the photographer, photographer the opportunity, opportunity to choose between, between Prevail or Swift Galleries. Galleries. But yep. there's a, a legacy product uh, called ProSelect that's been around forever that every time you go to a conference, you're here, it's the software to buy. Yeah. Uh, is Swift Gallery is going to be the ProSelect killer? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know about that. Um, you know that, that the the term has been thrown around a bit, uh, even with Prevail, and our goal has never been so. ProSelect is a fantastic piece of software. Uh, it's working really, really well for a lot of photographers, but it's also hefty. It's got a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't use, um, and I know this because we used it in our business, and and um, it's. <laughs> I don't. I'm not really ever setting out to build that that pro select killer. Uh, it does a lot of stuff that I don't really want to do. Okay. Um, I, our goal from the start with Prevail, and and we're really carrying that forward, is to help people sell wall art. Uh, we want to do that one thing. We want to do it very very well, uh, and we want to do it in a way that is easy to understand, uh, that's intuitive uh, for both you, uh, you know, the photographer, and now their end client, um, and doesn't require uh, Seishu, you're you're walking me through a minefield here. <laughs> uh, doesn't require you to go to a two-hour class instead of hanging out at WPBI with all of your friends uh, to learn how to use it. Um, so that is maybe all I'll say about that. Okay, fair enough. Uh, is there any uh, is there a timeline for for the launch of Swift Galleries? I know you've advertised it, you've started to promote it, uh, and I think. From my perspective, uh, my audience definitely wants to know when is this coming out. When yeah. can they, when, they, when can they get their hands uh, on on Swift galleries and stop playing with it and actually making money? Yeah. Um, so I promise I want to know that answer more than you do. <laughs> uh, you know, unfortunately, with Prevail, we we learned uh, the hard way about about putting um, release dates out there before okay. we were really ready because we put it out there and then we blow right past them. Um, that said, uh, we are really hoping to have this thing in people's hands in just a few weeks. Um, wow. Excellent. We, we are, uh, here's where we are with it right now. We've got all of the major pieces are built and by major pieces, I mean the designer, um, where you design stuff, you pre-design stuff looks fantastic. Uh, the client's uh, end looks fantastic. It all works very, very well. Um, all of the pieces are in place to be able to uh, take their orders and send you your money. All the pieces are in place to send the orders straight over to ProDPI. All of that stuff, all these really big, like, hey, if this doesn't work and this thing doesn't work stuff mm -hmm. is all done. There's a matter of still testing some of it to do. We want to make sure that this is rock solid, especially those two big pieces, the sending the order to ProDPI and sending you your money. Uh, we want to make sure that we come at that from every angle possible to make sure that those things are rock solid. Um, and then there's just a lot of minutia left. So uh, stuff like setting up and writing all of the transactional emails, the emails that your clients will get, the emails that you will get when somebody places an order or when a gallery is expiring or you know, all of these just kind of little things that you don't really think about until you're like, oh, hey, we need to send an email out for this mm -hmm. and somebody right. needs to write that. So gotcha. I guess that's me. So, you know, a lot of that minutia is left. It's all the little stuff, but it turns out that little stuff piles up and, and just becomes, you know, a couple weeks worth of work. So Indeed, indeed. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing Swift Galleries soon. Uh, I know uh, it's, it's something that I will be using personally for my portrait photography business um, actively. Uh, I, know, I know some of my clients 
I can't make it into my my home studio and and for a for a, a design consult. And you know, this is like the perfect solution in that sense. You know, yeah. S- send them a link with suggestions, and and then just walk them through maybe on the phone and say, hey, this is what we're thinking of doing. What do you guys think? And yeah. I mean, what you're saying is. Your clients, my clients, will be able to sit there and actually change things if they want to, and make it their own. You know, yep. really yep. own the art that they're going to place on their walls. And I think that kind of that kind of ownership is uh, is is amazing too. You know, yeah. yeah, it it really does. You know, I mean, it's a little bit sneaky of them to say it, but it really does put a client in a position to be able to, when I, when a when a friend come over comes over to the house and says, "Oh my gosh, I love that. Where did you get that?" Oh well, say she photographed that for you, for me, but I made it. I made that, you know, and like that—that's huge. Yeah. So now they they get to talk you up, and they get to be proud of it themselves. Sure. Um, and you know, they get all of those benefits that they had with Reveal before they ever spend a dime, and and or drive a nail or any of that stuff. They can see this is what this will look like on your wall, guaranteed. Period. You know, and there's something about that. We we joke around that it's kind of the uh, it's kind of the dressing room of wall art, you know, where the, the client can try it before they buy it. They can get in and, and see that those fan, those pants make their ass look great. And they're like, yes, I have to have these. If it's that equivalent uh, on the wall, I hope I can say yes. Indeed. Well, on that happy note, <laughs> thanks, Chris. I appreciate yeah, it. Man. I, will, I will talk to you as soon as it launches, and uh, maybe we'll do this again um, when, when, you, when, when we start to see more features added to, yeah. to uh, Swift Galleries. Thanks I'd love a lot. that. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.